So you're searching online, the best ways to make money online, and you've probably seen quite a few videos saying, create YouTube shorts, upload shorts, and you'll make $10,000 per month, make $27,000 a month. And while I'm not disputing that, I'm gonna share my experience and what I learned and what I should have done different. So let's hop on straight into today's video. So a couple of months ago, I found myself in a position where I was looking at ways to create money and more money for my family. And I discovered YouTube Shorts. And I saw all these guys and girls claiming that just by uploading videos that you find on TikTok and on Instagram, you could upload it to YouTube and you could make money. And I was intrigued by that because I was like, surely it's not that simple. But then I realized that you needed to upload lots of videos for one. And then for two, being a person who is married and that has a family, it's just not feasible. So I was never going to be able to compete or to satisfy the algorithm. So what could I do? I could outsource the video creation. So I had a channel which was lying dormant, a YouTube channel which was lying dormant. I created it in 2021, but I hadn't done anything on the channel. I then found somebody who could create these shorts for me. And I contacted them and we came up with an arrangement that I'd pay them a certain sum per month and that they would have a set criteria and they'd create videos around a particular topic. They went ahead and I'm gonna show you real quick the results of the past few months. So let's go. So as you can see, this channel was started 5th of October, 2021. And then around about June, the channel started to get some traction and recently it started to taper off. We've got 190,000 views. We've got 685.6 watch hours at the moment and 304 subscribers. And while you might say, well, that's not bad. You've got 190,000 views and 304 subscribers. That's good. Like you on your way to getting to that thousand subscriber mark. Yeah, those are okay, but the problem with this is I haven't made any money with the channel. And I'll tell you why I have not and what I should have done. So you might say, well, those are good metrics. Like you've got 190,000 views, you've got 685,000 watch hours, 304 subscribers. What did you do wrong? Well, there are other shorts channels which have millions of views and they've got thousands of subscribers. But the problem is several of those channels are in the same position as me, and that is they've made, drum roll, nothing from the channel. So what should I have done differently? The first thing is with this particular channel, as we can see over here, it did well and now it started to taper off. And the reason for that is the type of channel that I had this person create was a seasonal channel. So it's a type of channel that people are searching for content around a particular time of year, summer in the United States. And other times of the year, they're just not really looking for those topics. So as a result of that, traffic is starting to dry up. The first thing that I should have done differently was create a channel where people are always searching for this particular topic. Because yes, it's going to pop up on the shorts feed, but Google and YouTube are the same company. And as a result of that, your shorts videos are actually gonna pop up into the search bar in YouTube as well as Google. So if people are actually searching for this concept and it's something people are continuously searching for, your videos are gonna pop up and you're gonna start getting views. So that's the first mistake I made. I didn't do any research. I just had this guy create a channel that I thought was fun. The second thing that I should have considered was that just by having thousands of views at the moment shorts are not monetizable, other than you may be applying for a the shorts fund, but you're not gonna make a lot of money that way. So you're not gonna make money in terms of AdSense revenue where they put ads in your videos. In 2023, they are going to create that opportunity available where they are gonna place ads in your videos, so maybe then it will be okay. The third thing that I also realized was that I failed to give the guy any links back to any products or to my website where people could have gotten a free download and in turn gotten onto my email list. So while I had 197,000 views and while I have 304 subscribers on my channel, the problem is I've not captured the email. So in turn, I cannot offer them products along the line of this particular channel or the interest that they've got because clearly they are interested in this particular content, the few that, that has subscribed. 
but I could have gotten some of them, not all of them, but some of them to click on a link and I could have taken them to my channel or to my website rather. I could have got the email addresses and then I could have started to nurture the relationship and in turn provided them with a particular product or service that was going to best meet their needs. In addition to that, there might have been products that I could have just add the guy put into the description of the video and if they clicked on that product I could have earned an affiliate commission. So yes, while I've gotten 197,000 views, while I have 304 subscribers, my biggest regret was not having anything put into the description area linking them either to a free download on my website so I could get their email address or alternatively having links to affiliate products because that's how I could have monetized this channel as opposed to waiting till 2023 where YouTube is going to start giving us content creators the opportunity to start monetizing shorts channels. So what am I going to do with this channel? At the end of this month when my contact with this guy ends, I'm going to stop creating the shorts. I'm actually going to repurpose the channel and maybe next year I'll show you guys an update with regards to what I've done and how I've actually monetized this particular channel by using affiliate links and other strategies which I'll share to later date. For more tips like this, guys, feel free to click subscribe to the video below.